All right, guys, let's do this thing. Um, we're gonna go ahead and start off with a quick warm up and then we'll do a stretch right after, okay? So we're gonna flip it around a little bit. In your spot, I want you guys to go ahead and start with very small high knees, so kind of like jogging in place, okay? And I want you guys to go for um, 30 taps. So one, two, three, okay? So you're gonna go for 30 of these. Once you're done with these 30, go ahead and flip it over, bringing the heels towards the butt, okay? So you're gonna go for another 30 of these. All the reps for these quick ones are gonna be 30. So once you're done with these 30 here, you're gonna go ahead and go for your jumping jacks. Another 30 jumping jacks. Okay, keeping nice and steady. So we have three movements so far, 30, 30, 30. And the last one, I want you to keep your feet together and I want you to go uh, side to side, okay? And you're gonna go for another 30. So that's gonna be your first four movements, doing 30 of each. Once you're done with those, I want you guys to go ahead and start reaching down or runner stretch, okay? Keeping your hips high and you should feel that pull running right down through the leg, okay? Point those toes up towards your face and you're gonna give me a total of 20. Take your time, I'm doing a little faster because this is a video, we wanna keep it short, but you guys go ahead and take your time with these stretches, okay? You're gonna do 20 of each. Um, once we're done with those, I want you to go ahead and reach down, lie down on the floor, and I want you guys to do a sequence of coming up. So right arm, left leg, back down. And then opposite arm, so left arm, left, right leg, sorry. And you're gonna go ahead and do 20 of these, okay? So you're bringing opposite leg. When these are up, the other two are making contact with the floor, okay? And you're gonna feel that activation happening right through your abs. So you're gonna do 20 of those. Once you're done with those 20, lastly, you're gonna go ahead and stand and you're gonna give me five inch warm push-ups. If you don't have a push-up in you, okay? Don't worry, I want you to just go ahead and come down, peel yourself up, and walk yourself back to your feet. And you'll do five, okay? And then you guys should be pretty good to go with that one. Um, just one time through, okay? So for our scale, we have four rounds. Our four rounds are gonna consist of eight dumbbell, kettlebell object, um, stiff leg deadlifts, and then 30 hollow rocks, and then we have 20 single leg hip bridges, okay? Uh, 10 on each leg, so we're gonna divide those 20 in half. So, firstly we have the kettlebell, dumbbell object, stiff legged deadlift. So, stiff leg means just, I'm gonna give you an idea, like when we were doing our stretches earlier, that's more of a stiff leg structure, you're gonna feel that pull right through the hemis a lot more than a traditional um, deadlift. So you're gonna go ahead and hold your elbow, you're gonna drop down to position one. So if you notice, I'm still really nice and tall, I'm not bowing forward or anything, I'm just hinging at the hip and I'm loading my legs, okay? Almost like I'm ready to take a hit in my lower belly or something, I'm just bracing. So that's gonna be your position one. And then from here, your hips are gonna stay nice and high. I'm just gonna go ahead and scoot that dumbbell all the way down, keeping it nice and close. And at this point, I'm gonna start feeling that pull right in my hamstring. I'm gonna tap, come up, squeeze the glutes, okay? So now from frontal view, coming down to position one, reaching down, tapping the floor, coming up. Same thing, guys. Position one, gliding it down, keep it really close, coming up and squeezing okay so if you notice i'm keeping my hips pretty high loading our posterior chain squeezing the glutes at the very top of that deadlift so we're going to do um eight of these and then we're going to drop down for 30 hollow rocks for your hollow rocks these look like this so if you notice i'm rocking back and forth i'm not making contact with the floor with either my hands or my shoulders even they're off floor and my heels are not touching some of these might be a little difficult for some of you so earlier we did a little um, opposite hand, opposite foot lift off. I want you guys to do those. So I want you to go ahead and do 30 of those. I'll turn. So it would look like this. One, two, three, four, five. And I want you to bring your shoulder blades off the floor enough so that you feel that contraction happen. Okay? And as you're coming up, that opposite foot here, you're squeezing that glute. So go for 30 of those and don't do the rock. Okay, and then lastly we have um, 20 single leg hip bridge. For these, the weight is optional. You can grab a weight or you can just do it body weight. But the way that's gonna go is 
you can go ahead and tuck that left leg and extend that other one. You can even tuck the other leg in, okay? The point here is that you're pressing off one leg. Come up and squeeze. Come up and squeeze. And you're gonna go ahead and do a total of 20, which means you're gonna do 10 on each side. And move, okay? That's one round. You have eight stiff-legged deadlifts, 30 hollow rocks or tops if you're not quite there yet, and your 20 single leg hip bridges, 10 on each side. Your goal is to finish four rounds. Don't rush through them, take your time, make sure that you're actually feeling that muscle activation. Um, it's for quality, okay? All right, so when you're done with those five rounds or workout, you're gonna have five rounds, okay? Five rounds in which you will um, be working for two minutes, okay? So they're very short rounds. Two minutes, then you're going to rest for uh, two minutes, and then you're gonna work for two minutes, and then rest for two minutes. So pretty much it's two minutes off, I'm sorry, two minutes on, two minutes off. Two minutes on, two minutes off, for a total of five rounds, which your clock should say, total of 10 minutes, okay? Um, so this is the thing with our workout. You're gonna be doing 30 jumping lunges at the beginning of every two minutes, okay? So jump lunge, let me move this really quick. Starting here, you're gonna go ahead and press yourself up and switch. If you're not quite there yet with those jump lunges, okay? Go ahead and do stationary, but you are gonna have to speed it up because you're working with two minute windows, okay? So make sure that if you're not doing the jump lunges a little more explosively, that you are speeding up those lunges a little bit so you don't get caught with the time, okay? Be mindful of what your hips are doing. Make sure you're not rolling forward. See how my uh, knee is way over the toe? I'm pressing all my weight forward. Try to stay nice and neutral straight down, okay? That 90 here, that 90 back there. So uh, you will start with your 30 jumping lunges, okay? And as soon as you're done, with your jumping lunges, you're going to proceed to complete as many double unders as you can with your jump rope. Uh, most of you know what a double under is. I unfortunately cannot do it in my house because my rope is gonna hit the ceiling and it's just it's not gonna work. So what I want you guys to do, stay back please. What I want you guys, sorry. What I want you guys to do is instead of using um, your jump rope if you can't indoors. Sorry, I know that probably sounded really rude, but my child literally just walked out in his underwear <laughs> and he had every intention of walking through this video. <laughs> so I had to stop it. All right, so if you can't use your jump rope indoors because the ceiling is too short or too high, I'm sorry, too short or you're, or you're too tall and you're jumping too high, go ahead and do jumping jacks, okay? So you're gonna do your 30 jumping lunges and then as soon as you're done, Go ahead and complete as many jumping jacks as you can. Another good substitute for the jump rope is doing mocking double unders, which means you're gonna jump, your jump's gonna be a little higher, and you're gonna go ahead and be fast enough to tap your thighs twice as you're in the air, okay? So it'll look like this. So you see how my jumps are a little longer up, and I'm getting those two taps on my thighs while I'm still in the air. That's a good sequence to do um, to substitute your double unders, okay? So again, two minutes of work, starting with 30 jumping lunges or regular fast lunges, and then try to get as many jump ropes as you can with the remaining time. You're gonna rest for two minutes, and then you're gonna do it all over again. And the goal here is that you get as many jump rope singles or double unders or mock double unders or jumping jacks as possible. So move, move, move. You will have a two minute rest. So it's a perfect way for you guys to bring that heart rate up, kind of recover, and then build back up, okay? So five rounds of that. You guys have fun with that, and do your thing.